A fresh coating of new snow across the Susquehanna Valley. The amounts anywhere between a coating to as high as two or maybe even three inches in some of our northern counties so far. So still a little bit in the way of some slick spots out there, but for the most part, we're doing okay on the main roads looking live over our Lancaster sky cam, where you can see the roads in downtown Lancaster are we actually see the reflection of the lights off of the roads themselves. That means we just have wet roads at this hour. Temperatures though are down. They're pretty cold down into the 20s, 27 degrees currently in the Red Rose City. Feels like 27 though, not really seeing much in the way of wind yet. We will see that wind picking up over the next few hours, especially later this morning. Still winter weather advisories ongoing in our northern counties, basically north of the turnpike seeing this advisory and it's going until 8 o'clock. We'll see if the National Weather Service pulls these away. As you can see though, the snow for the most part is pretty much over with. All that's left is just some snow showers and flurries. Again, the temps region wide 20s for the most part. It's 18 in Lewistown and around our northern counties, Lewistown to Sealands Grove. Those are spots that around two to three inches of snow have fallen from this storm system. The farther south you go, the closer you get to that one inch or even a coating mark. So again, northern counties starting to see things drying up for the most part. Still some lingering flurries and snow showers, but uh, the, the bulk of the steady snow has now moved away to our east. And we'll see that trend continuing through the rest of today. Some flurries around and even a snow shower, but uh, that'll be ending over the next hour or so with the skies clearing from here on out and blustery winds starting to pick up. Winds could gust as high as 20 to 30 miles per hour, so that'll keep the highs in the low 30s and the wind chills down into the 20s at best. Tonight, the winds do calm down, and with mainly clear skies, that will allow the temperatures to drop, especially with a fresh blanket of new snow. It really helps to uh, basically uh, move the heat from the day back out into the atmosphere, so we're going to be seeing temps falling pretty quickly tonight with some high clouds arriving late. Then mostly cloudy through the day tomorrow. Evening flurries can't rule those out, but for the most part, we will be dry through the day tomorrow. In the Saturday morning, there could still be some lingering flurries. In the bigger picture, there's our clipper system. It moved out of the Ohio Valley moved across and now it's starting to make the curve up to the north and east. That's where the jet stream is uh, as well. And the direction the jet stream has been pointed from the last couple of weeks has been up in Canada. And that's why we've been so cool lately and will continue to be that way with the jet stream staying pretty much where it's at locked in over the next uh, 48 hours or so. But some signs of changes and it starts with this high pressure system moving in overhead tonight. That'll keep us chilly. But as this retreats off to the east, we'll start to see some changes on coming. And that's because the front, the uh, northerly flow of the jet stream will actually turn to more of a northwest flow and that's going to help at least to take the storm tracks a little farther to our north and then high pressure starts to build in from the southwest. So as that happens, we'll get into more of a southerly flow of air, which will help to boost the temperatures as we head into the start of the weekend, but still a little chilly the next couple of days, even into our Saturdays, 38 for the high clouds increasing on Sunday with highs near 40, finally back to the 40s and some shower rain shower chances on Monday and going into Tuesday before cooling down for the middle of next week. Okay. All of a sudden, we're looking forward to 44. That's I about, know, that's, that's going to be nice. Baby steps, right? Yeah, baby steps <laughs> indeed.